हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल यूट्यूब चैनल जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू ऑल अबाउट कोर रिकवरी एंड ड्रॉप क्वालिटी डेजिग्नेशन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर व्हिच नीड बी फाउंड आउट ड्यूरिंग जियो टेक्निकल इन्वेस्टिगेशन फॉर एनी पर्टिकुलर साइट इन रॉकी चरे नाउ रॉक क्वालिटी डेजिग्नेशन आर क्यूडी कैलकुलेटेड बाय डायरेक्ट ड्रिलिंग मेथड एंड टू इनडायरेक्ट मेथड्स नेमली डायनेमिक टेस्टिंग एंड डिग्री ऑफ Jointing will be discussed in this lecture of mine, as per Indian Standard Code IS 11315 Part 11, 1985, Reform 2021. Now, the rock quality designation RQD index is being used for last many years as an index or rock quality. It measures the percentage of good rock within a borehole. It was developed as a means of qualitatively. describing whether a rock mass provided favorable tunneling conditions or not whenever any tunnel was built in the mountainous region it is now used as a standard parameter in drill core logging and is now a basic element of several rock mass classification systems its greatest value is its simplicity which allows for the delineation of zones of poor quality rock from good quality rock that could adversely affect engineering structures The rock quality designation is a simple and practical method of describing the quality of core from borings. In this PowerPoint, the following symbols shall apply unless otherwise mentioned. RQD implies rock quality designation. V means primary wave velocity obtained by seismic refraction survey. VR wave velocity of rock material obtained from ultrasonic tests on cores. And JV number of joints per cubic meter volumetric joint count. Now. On the right hand side, a figure is being shown of the total drill run in which the pieces of core collected from the site are being depicted. This figure is exactly taken from the Indian Standard Code just discussed, referred to in this very lecture of mine. Now, core recovery. As per clause four point one of this code, core recovery is defined as the total sum of length of all pieces of recovered core expressed as a percentage of drilled. length when the core is highly fragmented the length of such portions is estimated by assembling the fragments and estimating the length of core that the fragments appear to represent now figure one shows that the calculation of core recovery is done likewise core recovery is normally used to describe individual core runs or whole bore holes The results obtained in a rock mass of poor quality strongly depend on drilling equipment used and on the skill of the drilling team. Clause 4.2 says that sound rock usually furnishes high recoveries, often about 100%. Semi and or jointed rock may furnish low recovery and badly broken cores. Now, what you all people are seeing that these are the cores recovered in this drill length. The length of the course is twenty-five centimeter, five centimeter, five centimeter, seven point five centimeter, ten centimeter, twelve point five centimeter, seven point five centimeter, ten centimeter, fifteen centimeter, ten centimeter, five centimeter, twelve point five centimeter. That is the total length of core recovered is one and twenty-five centimeter out of one and fifty centimeter. That is one point five meter drill run core rock. Me, our one point two five meter. core recover what which is the core recovery and its percentage is 83% now what is modified core recovery is actually designated as rock quality index rock quality designation index in which we take cores of length greater than 10 cm which i will be discussing with you in next slide slide of mine so this figure one shows modified core recovery as an index of rock quality rock quality designation clause 5.1 general rqd is often also referred to as modified core recovery percentage in which all the pieces of sound core over 10 cm long are counted as recovery and are expressed as a percentage of the length drilled the smaller pieces resulting from closer jointing faulting or weathering are discontinued discounted figure 1 illustrates calculation of rock quality designation so now the rqd is being calculated as 25 Plus ten plus twelve point five plus ten plus fifteen plus twelve point five centimeter. That is eighty five centimeter out of one hundred fifty centimeter. That is one point five meter drill length. Me, हमने eighty five centimeter pieces core के वो निकाले जिनकी length 
10 centimeter is above it, that is 57 percent is the rock quality designation RQD. So, clause 5.1.1 says the RQD has been found to be a more sensitive and consistent indicator of general rock quality compared to the gross recovery percentage. Now, what does clause 5.3 of this code states? It states that there are two indirect methods also by way of which we can calculate rock quality designation. As per clause 5.3.1 of this code, RQD is approximately equal to square of velocity ratio multiplied by 100. Now, what is velocity ratio? Velocity ratio is defined as ratio between primary wave velocity obtained from seismic diffraction survey and field and wave velocity of rock material obtained from ultrasonic tests on rock tools. That is, RQD is equal to V upon VR whole square into 100. Clause 5.3.2 of this code says that RQD is approximately correlated to number of joints in a cube of 1 meter as follows. RQD is equal to 115 minus 3.3 JV and RQD is equal to 100 for JV less than 4.5. These two are the methods which generally people do not refer to and use in their testing because we have a direct drilling method, but these methods are used where you can not directly drill the borehole. These are also little known, but we should use these methods when we are unable to do drilling at the mountainous region yeah, in any rocky terrain. Note, experience shows that actual RQD is sometimes less than the above value. Now, how do you define RQD? Rock quality designation as per clause 5.3.3 is if the rock quality designation RQD in percentage values is to be referred to as poor quality, then if your value is ranging from 90 to 100, it is an excellent quality rock. If it is ranging from 75 to 90, it is good quality rock. If it is ranging from 50 to 75 percent, it is a fair quality rock, if it is ranging from 25 to 50 percent is a poor quality rock and if it is less than 25 percent, it is a very poor rock. So, dear friends, this was what I wish to tell you all in this lecture of mine. Hope you all know this very important parameter which rock when we go to technical investigation are very important parameters to be tested. So, this CR core recovery and RQD rock quality designation is Rather to say, must have to be a part and parcel of any geotechnical investigation being done in any mountainous or rocky terrain. Hope you will like this lecture. Keep on subscribing to my YouTube channel, Geotechnical Engineering Consultancy Tips. Thank you, thank you very much.